I believe that education is the solution to so many of the problems that face us today. I have great respect for it, but don't overreach your expertise. I don't expect highly educated people with great IQs, lots of, of intelligence and such. I don't expect them to be able to solve magic tricks, though some of them will. I, I had a, an agreement with uh, Richard Feynman many years ago. Oh, do I miss Dick Feynman. Well, we had such a good thing going. I used to create brain busters for him. Oh, I was mean. I would show up in Los Angeles, call him, hey, Dick, I'm in town. Want to go to your favorite restaurant, your, the Mexican, Mexican restaurant? Yeah, sure, I'll be free at noon. Come on around and get me. Okay, I'd go around. We'd go into the restaurant. I'd sit down in the restaurant, and uh, we'd sit it over by the window or whatever, and we'd order up and everything, and I'd say, uh, Dick, give me the spoon out of your coffee. He'd look at me suspiciously. I'd take the spoon and go, you know, it would fall in two pieces. He'd look at me and say, okay, you set me up? Yeah, I set you up. Point is, I had arrived two days earlier, didn't tell him. Went back out to the airport after I had visited the Mexican restaurant, set it up with the Metro D to sit at this table, put this spoon on Richard Feynman's side. Yeah, okay, here's a $5 bill. I'll give you more later. Set him up, went back to the airport, called him, hi, Dick, I'm in town. Come to the airport and pick me up. Okay, he went out to the airport, picked me up. I had my suitcases with me. He thought I'd just arrived. Went directly to the Mexican restaurant. I set him up. I did all kinds of brain busters for him like this, and he had the agreement with me that he could ask me any question that had a yes or no answer, and I would answer honestly. Now, Richard was a physicist, but he didn't know much about astronomy. He didn't realize that the Earth rotates. He lived in California. I lived at that time in New Jersey. Two o'clock in the morning, my phone rang. Hi, Dick Feynman. Listen, if you had said to the waiter, uh, why don't you sit us over here? Would it be, uh, Dick, it's two o'clock in the morning. No, it's not. It's, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You're, <laughs> See, Dick, the, the earth rotates. Yeah, 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 I know that, yeah. But would it have made any difference? Yes, it would have made a difference, Dick. Oh, but that only allows two possibilities. I'll call you back. Click. Hello, Dick. Uh, Dick, hello. Then lay awake staring at the ceiling all night waiting for the next call, you see. But it was a game we had. He never failed to solve one of them. Of course, he did have the feedback from me, honest feedback of yes or no. And that was a good game to play. It was a true or false sort of a thing and he never failed to solve one of them and I worked my very best to come up with brain busters that would totally confound Dick Feynman. He was a different breed of person, believe me, a very special guy. And if you who knew him will agree with me on that, I'm sure.